Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to install and use the Santander file manager. You can get it for free from its official GitHub page as you can see it here. Please keep in mind that it will only work on iOS 16.1.2 and lower. Yes, it works on iOS 15 as well and it does not require a jailbreak. Also, I would like to thank my subscriber for helping me figure out how to use this new file manager now to get it you will have to be signed into github as you can see i am already signed in and of course get to the official github page then go to actions scroll down a bit and then click a link here scroll down and you will see the ipa right here go and download it from here all right it is now downloaded now to install it you can use sideloadly sideloadly is completely free app go to its official website hit download and download it for windows from here please keep in mind that you will need itunes and icloud installed you can get them from these official links go to your downloads and you will see this zip file that you have downloaded you will have to extract it after you have extracted you will get the santander.ipa and here you will find the IPA. Now simply connect your device via USB and then open sideloadly. Now select the IPA button, go to downloads and now select the IPA that you have downloaded for the file manager, hit open. Now put in your Apple ID here, then click start. If you are doing this for the first time, put in your password and you can see it is done. And I have the Santander file manager here. Now on your device, go to settings, general, device management, open it and then trust this app and then you will be able to open it. It looks like this. Now if you browse a directory, you will simply get this permission denied error. For this to work, you will have to go directly to a path. So hit this button. Now hit go to, then tap other and then type a directory like so so i want to go here then hit go and then it will work for you and then you will be able to access the directories as you please so yes guys it is not a full-fledged file manager like fiza but at least you get some functionality out on your unchilled broken devices on iOS 16.1.2 and lower. Just like WDB font overwrite, you will not be able to create anything. You can just overwrite stuff here. That's all for this video guys. If you still have questions, you can ask in the comment section. I will see you in a newer video. Goodbye and take care.